All right, we are back with um, the rest of season two, I guess, or up to the trade deadline. Probably going to assume the rest of the season, actually. But before we do that, we did get a comment from Speedy Gaming to put Crosby on the first line. So uh, I'm going to listen to him. I know it doesn't give us a plus three, and I know the team's been doing pretty good. But for the, for the first month here, we'll see how Crosby does on this first line. And if I'm not a fan of it, I may go and switch it back just for that plus three. But for the time being, we'll put Crosby on the first line. He's been doing good on the second line. 51 games played. He has 23 goals, 30 assists. I think Gino has similar results um, to him. They both have the same amount of points. But for the time being, we will put Crosby on the first line with Stahl and Gensel. And then Malkin will be playing with Kapanen and Jason Zucker. In terms of defense, everything else will be staying the same. Again, Joseph, I'm very excited to see if he goes higher than 81. I think he started the season at a 78. So it's going to see. It's going to be interesting to see how he progresses. And uh, that's pretty much it. We might as well just get on with the simulation here. Before we head into the sim, uh, as you can see here, we are, at the, we are first in the Metro. Um... The Hurricanes are behind us by two points. They also have a game in hand. Flyers are six points behind us. Uh, I believe we are second in the entire NHL. We are fighting for that President's Trophy against the Lightning for the time being. So uh, the team is doing well. Hopefully it continues to gel with Crosby moved on that first line. We do have the trade deadline coming up. I think Gino. Uh, like I said, I, the plan is to keep him. No one told me otherwise, and I think it's going to be smart to keep him. Um, so maybe if we do make a move at the trade deadline, it is to add some depth to the team. Um, now, before we continue here, where would we add depth? Maybe we get someone to replace Brandon Tanev. He's been doing pretty good on the third line, pretty decent to be honest. But maybe we get a third line um, winger to play alongside Granlin and McCann. Um, and then on defense, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe a second, a top four defenseman would be nice. Maybe a top six just for depth. Um, because if we were to look at our depth here, Sam Lafferty and Ruwiel definitely won't do it. And um, if we go to the AHL here, it uh, doesn't look like we have much depth. Uh, Yannick Weber, we have some depth on defense, not really on offense. So maybe we look for a third line uh, forward, a depth forward, and then maybe a top four, possibly top six defenseman. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what we can do with the trade deadline. I know we have a little bit of cap issues for the time being, so it's going to be interesting to see. All right, so we'll simulate up to the 23rd. That way we'll get everything sorted out to see how we do with the month here. So breaking news, the Los Angeles Kings have fired head coach Grayson Denny. Okay, uh, we get a trade here. Nothing that really interests, interests us here. Uh, we're starting off good uh, with the month. And now the Bruins have fired their head coach, uh, Xander Scrivens. Okay, interesting stuff to um, head coaching firings here. And we get a trade offer here. Um, okay, so we're just going to take a look at it. I doubt we'll do it. Um, Tristan Jari, um, who's our backup, could be a starter. Um, where are his stats here? 30 games played, 16 wins. Uh, 905 save percentage. We get rid of him and Pustin, who is a top nine forward at best. Um, and we get David Krejci back. Two years at 4.7 is not great. He's an 84 overall. He can play on our second line. Um, I don't like that he has two years left. We'd be taking on 4.7. We're getting rid of 3.5, which isn't bad. Um, but do we want to get rid of Tristan Jari for the time being? I feel like we can get maybe a little bit better than David Krejci. I'm just trying to think, like, yeah, we can slot him in on that third line. Um, maybe put him center, put Granlin on the wing. I, I, it doesn't make sense to us. We don't really need a center. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to decline it just because I think we can get someone better. And we potentially, not potentially, we need a winger. Uh rather than a forward so here we go um that month or the, most of the month wasn't bad we got one two three four five six seven wins so that's not bad we're now 37 19 and six we are still leading the metro um the hurricanes are now behind us by three points the flyers behind us by four they both have a game in hand we are currently Still second in the NHL. We're four behind the uh, Lightning, so that's very good. Um, Sidney Crosby, 66 points in 62 games, so he's doing just fine on that first line. 
the plus three didn't really affect these guys here. We were still doing well. Uh, Gino still doing well as well, so that's pretty good. And yeah, looking at Krejcic, like we could have maybe done that and put Krejcic on center here. Um, even if we had Krejcic as a fourth line, but he's a second line forward. I think we can get better. Worst case, we can just go back to the drawing board and get that uh, change. Literally just put Tanev, uh, get Tanev out of the lineup and put Krejcic there. So that's something we can look forward to at the trade deadline. Before we head to the trade deadline, let's go and uh, edit our trade in block here so we can potentially get some deals. Don't know why Eric Stahl is there. We'll keep Malk in there just in case. Tristan Jari, okay, everything's saved from last time. So everything's still the same. I'm fine with that. So let's simulate to the trade deadline. It's going to be interesting to see what we have. We also have a game on the trade deadline. Uh, we'll simulate to the 24th. Okay, nothing's happened. So, trade deadline day. We are a buyer. We are looking for some depth forwards. Um, we are looking for a third line forward, maybe even a fourth line. And like I said, some depth on um, offense. And then um, a top four, top six defenseman and depth on D as well. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see. Seth Jones is on the block. Patrice Bergeron, Marc-Andre Fleury, Spurgeon, Zach Hyman, who's an L.A. King right now. He would be interesting to get. Six years at 4.9 mil is a lot. Um, and he's 29. Probably not the best uh, to do that, actually. Um, we just need a depth forward. Uh, Craig Smith wouldn't be too bad. Two years at 3.1 mil. He's a righty which isn't really what we're looking for. We do have a trade alert as we're talking. Um, anything big doesn't look like it. Like a Pulak's going to the Islanders, I think it said. Um, but back to looking at Craig Smith. Like, if he was left-handed, man, it, it would definitely make sense. We need a left-handed winger. We could play him on, the, on his offhand. Um, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Now, trading with... Pittsburgh isn't the greatest here. Now, he only has two years left, which isn't bad. Um, so, ooh, Seth Jones, Ryan Strome, Boone Jenner, and Eric Robinson are going to the Blackhawks in exchange for a first-round pick and a prospect, it looks like. Wow, Seth Jones is now a Chicago Blackhawk. Interesting. So, looking at Craig Smith, I do, man, his value is up there. I doubt we get him. He's 32, so we'd be taking him until he's what 34 mm, not the biggest fan of it so maybe we just don't do that um the leafs have now made a trade um they're trading away picks for hampus Lindholm, and riley nash okay toronto they're looking for something so let's see who's available together here uh again it doesn't have to be someone too too good um just someone where we can throw him on the third line Jordan Eberle wouldn't be a bad shout again. He's a righty. We kind of need a lefty here. And someone with not that much of a, a trade value um, because we don't have much to trade away. Um, Spurgeon and Yanmark are going to the Panthers. Okay, interesting trades to be made. Um, but looking at Raquel, Raquel looks like an interesting option. One year at 3.9 wouldn't be too bad. He's a rental. Now, we just got to come to the fact with are we ready to say... Casey to Smith is our sole starter. Now, I feel like I might be making a mistake by doing that, but I think it's a trade we need to make. Um, we're trying to win a cup here, you know what I mean? Um, the Capitals have made a trade. Um, okay, I don't see anything. Columbus is in it. Um, Max Domi's heading to uh, Columbus, interesting. Uh, or heading to Washington, sorry. Um, Travis Dermott's on the block. He wouldn't be too bad. He's a top four. It'd be interesting to trade for him. He's not too much value. Um, he would help the third line. We need a lefty. So that definitely does help. Let's see if we can get Dermott for somewhat cheap from the Leafs. Um, I doubt we will. But we need to try to do something. We've been sitting here looking at players and we're not sure what to do. So um, I don't know if we want to get rid of our first for a Travis Dermott. Maybe a second for sure. Um, we got to throw one more player in probably, and I think this goes through. Um, so let's see, skaters matching the block. Who are they interested in? Sam Lafferty, Yannick Weber. No one with, well, I mean, we can send Brandon Tanev away if we're planning on getting another forward to replace him. We have him for four years at 3.5, so that would be good to get him off the books. Um, anyone else? I mean, Marcus Patterson would be coming out of the line, or Matheson would be coming out of the lineup. 
We have him at 4.87 for five years. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, he's a good depth forward to keep, man. Um, how old is he? We have him for five years, 27. So it isn't too bad. We'll keep him for the time being. Um, like I said, we don't really have much to trade. And we might have to get rid of some some rookies um, that we have that we really don't want to do. But it, it might be something to get the job done. Uh, forwards, yeah, we can get rid of this guy. Let's see if this goes through. So our second, Brandon Tanev. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his name for Travis Dermott. Will we get him? trade rejected this would be one of those occasions where the trade block paid off in spades toronto could start a deal based on what you want from us but what you're offering us in return isn't very interesting and doesn't meet our block okay so fair enough they don't want that rookie they want joseph i don't plan on getting rid of joseph uh poulin top six forward he is 21 he has potential uh he was our 2019 first round pick he went 21st overall I'd rather not get rid of him in this deal. Um, rookie goalies. Like, we have nothing really where we... It's like, yeah, we can get rid of him. Um, we could get rid of Teddy Bluger. I know he's on our fourth line. Mm, it wouldn't make sense to get rid of him, in all honesty. Um, wingers here. Like, I don't want to get rid of Poulin. I don't want to get rid of Zucker. Maybe if we get rid of... Let's get rid of him. And maybe that other rookie we put on the block before. And maybe we'll get this through here. Let's see. I think it was this guy. So let's see if this goes through. For Travis Dermott, we'd have him for three years. He'd stay on this team. Will this go through? Trade rejected. We will not uh, accept this proposal. This trade looks fair, but the least are not willing to retain the salaries you're suggesting. Did we, did we retain that? I don't think we retained that. Okay, what if they retain just that? Will this maybe go through here? No, okay. So let's put that guy back in. And let's see if this goes through. No. So they're not comfortable with retaining salary. Which I get. Um, so maybe, maybe, just maybe. Who's someone on the books that we can get rid of here? I'd rather not get rid of Matheson, to be honest with you. Um, just because it's a good depth guy to have. But, like, let's see who's eating up cap right now. So this is going to be interesting to do, man. Who's eating up cap that we really don't need? Like, right now, all signs point to Michael Matheson. And I want to get rid of him in another deal and not this one, if that's possible. I mean, Marcus Patterson, someone we could get rid of, too. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, who else is eating up cap that we don't really need at the time being? And... There's not much, man. Maybe we get rid of Teddy Bluger as well. Um, now Toronto would be over his salary. So this, this is what I mean. It's interesting um, how much there's one year left. So what if we retain? All right, so we'd be retaining that much. Let's see if this goes through for Travis Dermott. No. Okay, so you know what? We're going to stop trying with Travis Dermott. It was a good show when, uh, when I saw it. We're going to go try and get, I think and believe... It's possible to get. Where is he? He's not on the block anymore. So I have, a, I have a feeling he got traded. But I think it was Raquel we were looking at. So he's got one year left. Um, it's going to be interesting to sign him back after. But it's, it's something that we'll deal with after if we do want to sign him back. Right now we're just looking at rentals. That's, that's really what we're looking at here. So um, again, second round pick will get thrown in here. Um, who's matching the block that they would like here? um anyone no one that we really that we really want to get rid of um i think this is a deal where we throw uh you know what we're gonna keep jari actually so let's put casey to smith in this deal they need someone else sent back the other way uh what rookie skaters are matching the block uh let's do this guy because we were good with that before they'd be over the cap everyone is no what they would be under the cap. So we need to throw someone that has cap in here. My goodness. My brain is trying to work with all this math right now. Um, Pedersen is 25. Matheson. Okay, so let's say... Okay, that's not who I wanted to get rid of. Actually, no. Top six. I mean, we could replace a Travis Hamanick, But... I think let's get rid of 
Was it Matheson? Yeah, let's get rid of Michael Matheson here and then maybe try to replace him. So let's see. Let's see if this will go through. I don't think it will, but let's see. Okay, it went through. So Ricardo Raquel is coming over to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We now have to go and make a move for a defenseman. Um, but we now did decide that Tristan Jari is going to be the foreseeable starter for the future here. Um, so now we need a defenseman that can replace Michael Matheson. Um, like I said, Travis Dermott would be perfect just because he's 25, man. He's got three years left on this contract. He's a medium top four. Um, Roll is the top six. Like, that's fine. We could put Joseph up. I still want to see if we can make this happen, and I'm kind of thinking we're going to have to throw in uh, Poulin in this deal here. Um, one for one, like Poulin, he's got three years left. Okay, we got a trade here. Goligoski, um, would this be a cheaper thing to do? 84, he's a top four. Okay, maybe we go with Goligoski. He's only got a year left compared to Dermot. Uh, we're getting rid of a second for next year. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't like the second being getting rid of there. I do want to try for Travis Dermot, though, and I think we're going to get a deal together where we can get him. So like I said, rookie skaters match on the block. I think Poulin is going to be a guy where we're going to have to get rid of here. He has a potential to be a top six. He's already 21. He's still very young. Um, but I think, you know what, we're trying to win a cup now. Um... I think this will go through one for one. I kind of want to see if we can get a pick our way here. I don't think we'll be able to, if even if it's like a seventh round pick. So let's see if this goes through. I don't think it will. No, okay. So uh, what if it's a one for one? No, not even a one for one. Okay, so I do want Travis Dermott on this team. I think he'll be good for the future of this team. A young defenseman. Let's see if this goes through. Trade rejected. Okay. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. They're not interested in Poulin, which probably doesn't help. What if we throw these two guys in? Ah, they still have the retain. So they don't want to retain anything on him, which is fair. Um, I don't blame them. So we... Why wouldn't this go through? This should be fine. So let me see if I can get a pick here. I don't know why it's retaining salary when I didn't put it. But let's see if we can get a 7th round pick this way. Trade rejected. Um, what if it's a one for one? No. Wow. Okay. Last try. We're going to throw our seventh round pick in now. Let's see if this goes through. No. Okay. So that's okay. We're going to have to say no to Travis Dermott and we're going to look for another defenseman. Okay. Defensive defenseman. Um, not that much trade value, which is nice. Um, he would actually fit. Uh, he could play top four or top six, which is nice. He's only got a year left, six two. I, I like that he's big. Um, hmm. So let's see skaters match in the block. They do want Poulin. Not interested in getting rid of him. This guy's twenty one. Uh, fine with getting rid of him. Um, and maybe we're trying to win now. You know what I mean? I kind of want to keep our first. If we can get a fourth and a fifth heading their way. Let's just try with a fourth. Let's see if this goes through. No, they were not a fan of that deal. So let's see if a fourth and a fifth works out here. <clears throat> okay, so he's not going to work. If we're going to trade away that rookie, then we can get a better defenseman in my opinion. So let's do some scouting here. We don't have that much time left here. I say we can find a better defenseman, and I'm looking at Ron Hainsey, and I'm interested in bringing him back to Pittsburgh to try to win a cup with him. Top six defenseman, that's all we're looking for. Joseph can play top four minutes. I don't doubt that. So I think we can literally just trade away our seventh round pick for Ron Hainsey and this might just go through. No. Okay. So let's go with a seventh. I don't want to, like, we don't have a lot of picks. You know what I mean? Um, who's matching the block that they would like? Dylan O'Connor. Okay. Let's throw him in and a seventh for Ron Hainsey. Still nothing. All right. Maybe let's throw in a six round pick. No, dude. What the hell? And we were unable to make a trade. The trade deadline is now complete, so we're shorthanded on defense. That's not good for us. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't get a trade to go, man. I couldn't get a trade to go for some reason. 
And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I feel like this trade deadline may be an L for the Pittsburgh Penguins, but let's see how the team is looking like now that we made the moves that we made or the move that we made. Okay, so the offense isn't looking bad, man. Like the first two lines stay intact. Stahl, Crosby, Gensel, Kapanen, and Malkin, Zucker. The third line looks better. Um, Mark Jankowski, Mikael Granlin, and Ricard Raquel, the player we traded for. Um, now, I can throw him up here, but I think Kapanen has been working really well with Zucker and Malkin. So for the time being, I'm going to leave it like that. We can always put Ricard Raquel up on the second line. Uh, the fourth line is looking good with Russ, McCann, and Tanev. And then on defense, we got Rude Wheel, uh, Chris Letang, uh, Hamannick and uh, Joseph, and then Pedersen and Marino. Now, not a fan of Rude Wheel playing up here with Letang. He did good for us in the playoffs, to be fair. Um, but I don't think he's going to be good enough on that first pairing. But uh, my mistake, I couldn't make a deal there at the last second, and it's on me. Now, we got Tristan Jari. Being the starter, and our backup is a 73 overall. So um, we know what our need is for the offseason. We need a backup goaltender and some better defense. So uh, we are going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the season. And uh, that's going to be it. Actually, no, we'll simulate. Um, yeah, let's simulate the rest of the season here. So we'll finish the rest of the month here. Not ending off good on a three-game losing streak. So let's sim another month. Hopefully this team does a little better. I know that wasn't the greatest end to the month there. But hey, we start off with a three-game winning streak. That's nice to see. Um, let's continue with the winning ways here, Pittsburgh. That'd be great. So I don't look like a total ass when I'm making a move there. And uh, we got three more games left. We are 46, 27, and 6. We are currently... Um, in third in the Metro, we fell off. The Caps and Flyers did catch up to us, uh, which is okay. We're still sitting in third. We we are in the playoffs for sure. Uh, Crosby with 79 games played, 83 points. Um, looking at the lines here, they're looking just fine. No one went up or down in overall from what I'm seeing. Um, and same on the defensive end of things and goaltending. So let's simulate the final three games of the month here. And then we will go through the uh, season pretty much. So we end up the season just two wins short of a 51 season. We go 48, 27, and 7. Good year from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Crosby, 90 points in 82 games. We did finish with 103 points. Uh, so we finished tied with the Flyers, one point back of the Capitals. Um, and the Lightning just ran away with the President's Trophy. And looking at stats here, Crosby had 90 points in 82 games, hit the 40-goal plateau. Uh, Malkin with 80 points in 82 games. Uh, Gensel with 80 points in 82 games. Ricard Raquel, um, kind of hard to track what he did with us since the trade deadline. Sucker with 55 in 82. Stahl with 53 in 82. So pretty good from our team here. Um, and then our goaltending situation. Um, if Tristan Jari could be a little bit better than a 904 save percentage, that would be huge. But 26, 17, and 6 for us, not too bad. And our backup did get some NHL games in, uh, going 1 and 2 with a 902 save percentage, not too bad. So good, good on the Pittsburgh Penguins here. Um, let's see how the rest of the NHL actually shaped up here in terms of points. So Nate Mack finished with 100 po 108 points in 82 games. He hit the 50-goal plateau. Sagan with 182. The Brinkat with 98 and 82. Barzell with 98 and 82. Marner with 98 and 82. Matthews with 97 and 82. So a lot of good players. Um, Where is Connor McDavid? Wow, Connor McDavid had 81 points in 81 games, point up, point per game. Um, surprised he didn't do better than that. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, let's see who we play first round of the playoffs here. NHL season is complete, and we are taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh my goodness, the battle of Pennsylvania. This is going to be an interesting playoff series to say the least. And next video is going to look good. So let's look at the um, the brackets here. Who is playing who in the playoffs. So Pittsburgh is taking on the Flyers. The Capitals are taking on the Hurricanes. The Leafs are taking on the Panthers. Tampa is taking on the Rangers. In the West is Vancouver versus Calgary. Arizona versus Edmonton. Colorado versus St. Louis. And Chicago versus Winnipeg. So we have a good playoff 
pitcher painted for us here. And next episode, we will see what this Pittsburgh Penguins team can do against the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh,